everybody, it's Lori. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back with a melting basket for this upcoming week. I'm super excited to share it with you. I was trying to get ready quickly today so that I could get some videos. I have a lot of wax. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll put the link down below. Make sure you do that. If you're not already, I posted a photo of all the boxes that were waiting for me when we returned home. And yeah, there was a lot. <laughs> a lot so I have a lot of upcoming hauls this coming week I'm gonna try not to do them um, all at once I'd like to spread it out a little bit hopefully my hauls are like slowing down a little bit I don't know there is some in there that I was waiting a while for um, like super tarts she had the oil that the supplier was out of and yeah, so there was a few that I was waiting for, and so I'm super excited to be able to share those with you. Today, we're going to be doing my melting basket for the week. So before we jump into that, I want to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe down below. And I want to welcome you back if you're a returning visitor or subscriber. I hope that you've already subscribed <laughs> and that you want to be a part of this channel. Okay, so my melting basket theme was fantastic plastic. <laughs> So that term comes from, I'm sure there's other things, but for me, it's in the Funko world. They have their own line of Funkos that they call Fantastic Plastic. So instead of licensing other lines like Coca-Cola or The Office or Marvel or DC, anything that you could really think of. I mean, there's Barbie, there's Hasbro games, all kinds of cool stuff. So instead of doing that, they have their whole, they have their own line of characters that they have come up with and they call it Fantastic Plastic. And I thought it fit for this, <laughs> this theme. So I'm gonna borrow their term. We're not melting Funkos this week. That would be really bad. No, so I am going to focus on items that are in like, whoa, if I could pick it up. <laughs> Scent shot cups like this or we've got clamshells. And so, you know, anything like that, some of these smaller, my gosh, I can't pick stuff up today. Little, little smaller things that are in plastic. So I thought that would be good to use up some of these. They do take up, I find a little bit of room in the drawer. And so I thought, you know what, maybe this is a good week to use some of these and and I'll try them. A lot of times I buy these in sunshot cups to try them before I get a larger quantity. So I think this would be a good time to try these out and we'll enjoy them this week. So let's dive into what I picked for the week. So I tried to have these separated a little bit <laughs> based on what they were or where. I have an itchy nose. I don't know what's going on, but you know, that happens sometimes. Okay, so let's go through the coffee first. You guys know I melt coffee in the mornings and really enjoy that. So I pulled some coffee scents. I have Super Tarts Gandalf, which is sweetened cereal, marshmallows, sugary milk, coffee bean, and vanilla cream there. I'm gonna wanna sniff all of these, but I can't, and I need to put them in a little bin because my desk is overflowing. <laughs> Let me get my little bin separated here. I don't wanna like dump them all in there at the same time, but. Then I have Cup O, Cup o Kringle, mint chocolate chip, espresso, and sugar waffle cone from K Scented Melts. I have Bean, I think it's Bean, yeah, Bean and Buster, which is cotton candy, funnel cake, coffee, winter berries, and frying donuts. This is from Wolf Wicks. So this is the most god-awful color. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like a, not even a pea soup green. It's like a terrible green, but anyway. And it really doesn't smell like that much in the bag, but I have melted through one full of these, one, one full melt of this already, and it's fantastic. It's really like a coffee funnel cake blend, so I highly recommend this one. It's just don't let it fool you in the bag before you melt it. It's so, so good <laughs> when you're melting. And then I have this vanilla hazelnut latte from Beezy's there. I probably will get through one of these. His wax is super strong. And I will probably cut this into fourths because I made the mistake of cutting it into three pieces. And wow, <laughs> it about blew me out of the house. It was an apple blend of his and it was very, very strong. And so <laughs> I don't want to do that again. So I think I will use, I will cut those into fourths, which is an awesome deal because these are $1.85. So yeah, so I can get four melts out of that. I really, really like that. I have from the Melted Mousse Cafe Brulee, which is caramelized sugar crystals, vanilla custard, and a hint of coffee. I think Ashley Nicole just melted this on her channel, and I agree with her. 
like I don't get coffee. It says hint of coffee. There is such a whisper of coffee in this one, but it's very nice. Car it's caramelized, like custardy type of smell, but we will use that um, on a coffee day. I might mix a little bit of um, like espresso or something in with it just to amp it up a little bit. And then I have marshmallow latte, freshly brewed coffee and toasted marshmallow cream. This is so good from the Melted Mousse and two more from the Melted Mousse vanilla latte so i have two of these and so i think these will be good for my coffee for the week and i pulled some scents for my bathroom i have a few from that small good shop here victorian cleaning which is cotton linens lemongrass and herbal notes is it calacus i don't know lime and neroli from that small good shop i don't know if i'm butchering it sorry <laughs> i'm like what the heck is that we have Blackberry, Laundry Day, and Pink Cotton. These are all from the Small Good Shop. That's, I mean, that Small Good Shop. And the Melted Mousse Seaside Laundry. So that'll be really nice. Then we have Relax from K-Scented Melt. I feel like this is a, yeah, it's kind of a, a lavender scent. We have Wild Peach Poppies from K's as well. And a couple here from VCS or Vintage Chic. Self Love Club, Rose Quartz, Pink Chiffon, and Cotton Candy. So I will cut these in half. These are a little bit too big for my warmer. Um, and T-Shirt Time, Fresh Water, and Crisp Clean Cotton Teas. Really enjoy that one. Okay, and for in here, in this warmer over here, Itchy knows I have Embers, Magic and Mischief, and Hagrid's Hut from that Smell Good Shop. I keep, you know, pulling that out, and it just, I don't melt it, so I'm going to try to melt that one. We have blackberry frankincense from that small good shop, which is sweet blackberries and earthy frankincense. I believe this is a favorite of Danny's. Danny Lives Life. We have from L3, coconut. I think it's coconut. Is it coconut leaves, maybe? Yeah. Commas. <laughs> That'd be lovely. I can't tell. I think it's coconut leaves, palo santo, smoked vanilla, cocoa butter, cashmere. I think that's what it is. And you know what? You guys know I really don't like Palo Santo that much. But this one, I don't really smell it. We'll see. We'll see how it does. If it's too much, if it's too heavy on that for my nose, I will probably change it. But we are going to give that one a shot. We have Midnight Daydream Cookie Dough Deluxe, which is sugar cookie deluxe and sugar cookie dough there. We have Embers Toasty Mallow and Cedar from that Smell Good Shop. I have Lattes by the Fire Car. Well, I guess it's coffee, caramel, and fireplace. There. I have Cindy Lou from the Melted Moose. Nutta Butter Fresh Baked Bread and Grapity Grape from that Smell Good Shop. We have, I don't know, what would this be? I want to say Dodge, but I don't think that's what it is. Dog. We're just going to call it Dog. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Captain Crunch cereal, blackberry, almonds, and biscotti, or almond bis biscotti. So this smells amazing. I mean, what would you call that? <laughs> like, what the heck? Anyway, yeah, it smells amazing. I can't wait to try that one in here. And then I have bubble gum from K Scented Melts. Okay, so let's go through the main pile that's <laughs> in front of me here. This will be from my living room kitchen, dining room, combined areas. So I have from Wolf Wicks Camp, Wolf Mirror, Count Chocula Pie, Count Cho I'm sorry, Count Chocula Pie and Sugar Milk. And here I have three of these. So I will definitely cut these in half. I'm going to see how big this is. I might have to cut it in thirds. So I might only use two of these, but we will give those a shot and see how you know, how strong it is if I need a little bit more. So I have two that only had one each. So I'm probably going to, I don't know how I'm going to work this out, but we will figure it out. I have from the Scented Squirrel Fool for Love, Strawberry Raspberry Guava Rock Candy and Cream Soda. And then I have Hawaiian Punch. So I'm going to do a little like three, <laughs> three in, um, I'm going to cut these in three and use it in three warmers and then three warmers. I think this one is going to blow our socks off. So we will see about that. <laughs> Hawaiian Punch is usually typically really strong. So we will see. Most of these others I have a match so that I can cut these in three pieces and then melt it, you know, in my six warmers. 
So from Midnight Daydream, I have Main Street Confectionery, which is cake batter cookies, cotton candy, and kettle corn. This one scares me a little bit because of the kettle corn. So I have to tell this story. We're already going to be in a long video, but I'm going to tell a quick story. So I had a roommate in college. <laughs> and she loved popcorn so much that she popped it in the microwave. So it was microwave popcorn and ate it three times a day. I want you to guess how many years it was after that year experience <laughs> before I ate popcorn again. <laughs> it was a long time. So anyway, I, this is kind of strong on the kettle corn. And, um, you know, we'll see how that melts. But, you know, it's interesting and I think it might be good. I have, I'm hoping some of the other elements come out a little bit with it. We'll see. So we have melted mousse key lime pie. I love this. I have said before that I have purchased a lot of key lime, key lime pie, but this is so nice, like so good. And I'm on her custom list again. <laughs> and I need more wax, but hello, her wax is amazing. So I want to melt that and see if I might want to get like a souffle or two. I don't need gobs of it, but it's nice. Like it's, a, a, to me, it's a perfect summer scent. So we will see how that one does. We have Midnight Daydream Tea with the Queen, Southern Sweet Tea and Orange Chiffon Cake. I feel like it, it's definitely Southern Sweet Tea. Yeah, it really comes out. And I have said tea doesn't always, I, I can't always smell tea in blends. And I can smell it in that one. So that'll be interesting to try. We have this one I had to pair up. We have Salem the Cat because for some reason I only got one of these. Cherry Marshmallow Bit Cereal Bars. And I thought I would put that with Fruity Pebbles. So we're going to have cereal delightfulness going on. Then we have from the Scented Squirrel, Get Your Fat Pants Ready. <laughs> I love this one. Wildberry Mousse Iced Lemon Cookies and Lemon Eclairs. This is such a beautiful lemon bakery scent. Really like that one. Wildberry Mousse comes out a little bit here and there, but lemon is really the star to me of that one, and it's very good. Midnight Daydream, we have Blueberry Muffin Pop-Tarts. So Blueberry Pop-Tarts and Sweet Bread Dough. So that sounded fun. We will use that. Okay, so we have from the Scented Squirrel, Raspberry Peach Macaron. It's really good too. I gotta smoke. Yeah, this is really nice. Mm. You really get the macaron smell in this one. So that will be fabulous. We'll see if I can make a tower that you guys can see. <laughs> we have purple cow from the melted mousse. Grape soda and vanilla ice cream. So love grape and you know soda. Hello. We have Barbie's Tea Time, Pink Sugar and Tea and Cakes. I did order this, I believe, in my custom from her in a souffle. So this will be good and I'm dropping. You guys know how I drop everywhere or throw, <laughs> not on purpose. We have Honey Buttered Rolls, fresh baked yeast rolls with a hint of whipped cinnamon butter. That would be good, nice <laughs> honey butter smell there. I have some more from Beezy's here, Jelly Donut Bread. And again, cut this into four, so I probably, I will use one and a half of those probably. And then let's do a few clamshells while these are all avalanching. I have City Mall from Super Tarts, which is orange smoothie, so like a creamsicle type of smell. We have Briarcliff, Mac Apple, Shaving Cream, and Sea Salt. This is so good. Normally I'd do something like that in my bathroom, but I think that's going to be really, really nice. We have from Zape. Helium. I know everybody told me I needed to get this, so we're going to give this a try. I bought two of these. We're going to give it a try. Fruity Pebbles, Citrus Fizz, and Strawberry Cotton Candy. So that's, I'm excited to give that a try this week. We have Luna Love Good from Wandering in Wonderland, Strawberry Bread, and Sugar Coated Marshmallows. And this cute, <laughs> cute clamshell there. Okay, so I moved a few of these off. <laughs> I moved them out of the way. We have from Super Tart, Pink Sugar Mouse Ears, which is iced lemonade, lollipops, and pink sugar. We have Wolf Wicks, Cranberry Salsa, Cranberries, Grapefruit, Pomegranate, Lemon, and Grape. We have tried this before. It's very, very good. My son really likes that one. This I picked up at a local Ace Hardware store, and they had several different, uh, I almost said flavors, but <laughs> scents of these, so I thought I would try one this week. This is Fago. <laughs> <laughs> original grape and so fago is a michigan pop we say pop but like soda can't get this open 
and um, so it's kind of local. I don't know if you've seen it. You've probably seen it in other places. Let me know in the comment section down below if you know a Fago. Um, but this is so great. Oh my goodness, this is so good. So I got a couple other scents. They weren't super cheap at all by any stretch of the imagination, but I kind of got it for the novelty of it and we'll see how they are. <laughs> it's made in Michigan. You can get these online. It is Heart of Mish, um, M-I-C-H dot com if you're interested in trying those. I thought that was kind of fun. And yeah, we'll give those a try this week or this one anyway. Super Tarts, we have Very Good Cookie, which is sweet berries and sugar cookie. This oh, it smells so good. Then I have another Super Tarts banner, cornbread, mac apple, vanilla ice cream, and brown sugar. You know, I love my mac apple and cornbread scents. And Tunnel of Love from the Bathing Garden. We have pink sugar blends with strawberry soda pop, vanilla bean, and sweet red apples. So I am still giving my um, bathing garden some time to cure. And so I'm pulling out ones here and there that smell pretty strong. But my son used one while I was gone and it was kind of light for him. So I'm going to need, you know, I have to be really careful because I want to enjoy them. Her scents are magnificent <laughs> and I don't want them to go to waste with, you know, not waiting long enough to, to cure them. So I'm going to pull out one here and there and give them a try and we'll see how it goes. So next I have from Zape, I pulled one out of the soda sampler. This is phosphate. So we're going to melt two of these. I'm going to cut these in thirds. This is sugar crystals, mandarin orange, and fizzy pop. I mean, this is fantastic. I mean, the whole soda sampler was amazing. Hopefully she offers some of them, you know, buy them singly <laughs> coming up. I have to look. Didn't she post a list? I don't know if it's on there or not. My cat is going crazy. He wants to come back in here. Okay, so scented squirrel spiked eggnog. We have eggnog and frangelico streusel, which is rich cream, caramel, coffee, and frangelico liquor or liqueur. I don't really smell a lot of coffee in this. Not really, which is, it's fine. It's just, don't let that scare you if you're concerned. To me, it's a really nice eggnoggy scent. So we will see, it is hot here for Michigan. It is hot in May, <laughs> it's very hot. So I think next week, by like Thursday or Friday, it's supposed to go back down to normal, which is in the 60s. So I might be holding off on this and melting some, you know, like sugary, like fruity scents before that. We have strawberry pound cake from the Scented Squirrel. I have two of those. I'm going to use those and enjoy those. We have from Midnight Daydream, which you haven't seen a lot on the channel, but I have purchased quite a few things from him in the past. I've been having problems. I've been missing his openings, but I'll melt through some of this and see how it performs for me, and I'll just have to be better <laughs> at not missing and not throwing everything. Okay, Cereal Land. We have Frosted Cereal, Fruity Marshmallow Bits, and Vanilla Milk. So I have two of those to melt and give a try. I have Will You Be Mine Conversation Hearts Candy Type. We have those. And then I think I only have one of this left. I think I did melt one of these. This is Pineapple Whip. So fresh pineapple with soft serve vanilla ice cream. So I'm going to pair it with this grilled pineapple from Satin Susie. Pineapple, coconut, and brown sugar. So we will melt, you know, three and three and do it that way. Same thing with these next two sets. I have Satin Susie hot, hot Orange Danish here, and I'm going to pair that with this old-fashioned orange cake from the Melted Mousse. Vanilla cake and orange juice drizzled in orange caramel glaze. So I thought those would go good together. And then two from K, I have Banana Nut Bread. Oh, I just love banana and wax. It, it's so good. And then bananas flambe, so I thought those would go good together as well. And finally, we're going to end with scents for the bedroom. I have cranberry chutney from Kay's. You guys know I like my fruity scents and fizzy. I probably will mix a little bit of fizzy in some of these that don't have it in there, but oh, bite me. <laughs> Said that a lot back in the day. Oh. <laughs> this is so good. I really like this one a lot. Fantastic scent. Berry Mimosa from Satin Susie sample. I have Push Pups from Woof Wick. So this is like a creamsicle type of smell. I have Teddy Bee's Lavender Cream. I have figured out that I love her lavender. I think that's the lavender that um, I'm going to need to go, you know, to go to. Oh, 
I just love her lavender. I don't know what it is, but it's fantastic. This is lavender, marshmallows, vanilla, sugar, waffle cone. So really excited about that one. Mandarin lime, tangy, tangy mandarin, and zesty lime and basil for that smell good shop. <sighs> Brady is so mad at me. <laughs> He's like, you were gone for a week and now you locked me out of the bedroom. Like really? Or the office here? Okay, so that small good shop, we have exotic grapefruit, which is grapefruit and tropical sweetness. Afternoon tea, brewed tea, almond cookies, and citrus, which is like a tea and cakes type of a thing. Fantastic. Grapefruit and mango, mangosteen. Is that how you say it? Mangosteen from K's. This is a really nice fruity blend. And then two from BZ's, we have a grapefruit zest. So this is a really zingy grapefruit and Mountain Dew, which is, I will probably mix this in uh, because I love my Mountain Dew scent. So I might do a little mixology with that one with some of these other uh, fruity scents that I picked. So that's my basket. I almost said box. That's my basket for the week. So I also am going to work on a candle this week. I'm going to try to do a candle every week. I have a lot of candles, as you guys know, so I will try to burn them and then finish the week in the candle crock with them and, you know, go from there. Because sometimes, you know, a lot of times Bath & Body Works candles, we know, they get sooty, they get, you know, kind of that kerosene smell. It, you know, I don't know what's going on, but that's at least what I have found. So I am going to burn first this uh, Mermaid Lagoon. It's actually really nice. I've already started burning it, so you can see that there. I'm going to continue burning. This is nice. It's almost like a cashmere cedar, like a, a hint of it. The, the notes in here don't say that at all. Shimmering ocean water. Is it tear or tiara flowers and sea mist? Um, I don't really get that. It's interesting because I almost get like almost like a cashmere cedar vibe. At least it's not the same, but it's kind of like that vibe. But anyway, so we're going to melt this a little bit, maybe a couple more times, and then I will put it in my candle crack. I have a candle crack in here. I said before it gets really hot, it makes me a little nervous. So I might move it to my kitchen <laughs> and use it in there. It shouldn't. I mean, I know a lot of people have them and use them all the time, but it just makes me a little bit nervous. But I'm going to work on that candle this week. So let me know in the comments section down below if you have a theme for the week, if you're working on using up a loaf, Scentsy Brick, are you working on a candle this week? Let me know what your plans are. I look forward to talking with you in the comment section down below. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Thank you.